What's up guys and welcome to a walkthrough video of Unity Modern Synth. Unity is a three sample based synthesizer engine designed for aggressive and modern sounding cinematic productions. The instrument is designed to provide instant inspiration with 350 thoughtfully produced samples and 250 unique presets. All sounds you're gonna hear were designed by AV artist and sound designer Maxime Perrault, also known as Y-Kid. His unique sound design style has caught the attention of top Hollywood trailer agencies and his work can now be heard in numerous blockbuster hits and major productions like Fast X, HBO Max and DC Comics. In this video, we'll show you all the powerful features of the instrument, but if you're eager to listen to some preset demos or sound design examples, we'll be sharing a video dedicated to that very soon. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so just like our other instruments, the main page of Unity is designed with efficiency in mind, aiming to spark inspiration instantly. We've included all the essential effects and features here, allowing you to discover inspiring sounds within seconds. Let's take a closer look. On the main page, you'll notice three distinct ADSR shapes that represent the individual sound sources. The first one in red is dedicated for the pre-designed synthesizer sounds. You can see those as your foundation tones that will give you instant standout sounds. The purple one will help you enhance your sounds with captivating textures, adding an extra layer of depth and dimension. Lastly, the blue source is here to finalize your sound with classic analog wave tables, giving it a powerful boost. As you can see on the ADSR shapes, there are sliders that allow you to directly set your sound envelopes from this page. The first slider on the left represents the attack, the closer you are to the bottom, the shorter the attack is. Then follows decay, sustain, and release. For each sound sources, you have individual volume sliders, a sample selection, and ethic sense. Each ethic change includes distortion, reverb, delay, movement, and filter. Simply click on the icons to navigate between the different ethics, and turn the knob to add more or less of each effect. You can also easily bypass the different sound sources to hear them individually. Once you're happy with your sound selection, the identity pad will help you define a perfect balance between the three sound sources. On the far left, you have an assignable mod wheel that offers multiple functions. The first default mode does not have any functions on it, so you can assign any parameters you want. The second one is a classic low pass filter. And the third one lets you blend the different sound sources directly from the mod wheel. The lowest position will play back the red sound source, the middle position will play back the red and purple source, and the highest position will let you hear all the sound source together. You can use this feature to quickly create variation in the intensity of the overall sound. For example, at the lowest position here, I have my basic sound, but the more I push the mod wheel, the thicker it sounds. Finally, the select mode will let you play back individual sources based on the mod wheel position. 
The first third of the mod wheel range will play back the red source. The second third will play back the purple one. And the last part will play back the blue source only. Now on the far right, this red icon will give you the extra boost of the overall sound. You can directly increase or decrease the intensity of this master effect by clicking and dragging your mouse up or down. If you want more control on this master effect, click on the attitude title to open up the page, but we'll come back to that later. Now that we've covered all the principal features, let's get into the advanced settings where you can truly sound design any sounds you want. Click on the shape icon to open up the page. You can see that each sound sources are represented into three different sections. Here on the left, you can see everything related to the first sound source, starting with the sample selection. Click on the icon to open the sample browser. Scroll up and down to find a category you like and click on the sample to load it. You can also click on the next or previous arrow to browse the different sound categories directly from the default window. Next going up is the filter section. You can either access the essential filter parameters from this window by clicking on the next or previous arrow or click on the icon to open up the filter focus page. And lastly, on the top section, you'll find all the effects. This includes distortion, reverb, delay, movement, and all the EDSR settings. We also predefined ADSR settings based on YKit most used settings. Of course, every effect could be bypassed for a quick A-B testing. Now, coming back to the Attitude page, you can simply click on the Attitude button to open up the page. The Attitude FX will bring the three different sound sources together by adding compression and harmonics to your overall sound. It kind of acts as a glue, very subtle, but this will instantly bring cohesion to your overall sound. Of course, you can always exaggerate the settings to have an additional distortion effects. <laughs> The middle slider will have a direct impact on the amount of effects you want to add to your sound. The more you push it, the more effects you have, and the lowest position will bypass the effects. You can fine tune your settings by adjusting the input volume, attack, release, saturation amount, and character. So that's it guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll try our best to respond to all the questions.